Hi and welcome to our series of VoIP Now Server Configuration Tutorials. In this video you will learn to create charging plans and call destination exceptions. Charging plans determine how the service providers, organizations, or users you add on your VoIP Now system are charged for their calls. To add a plan, go to the charging plans area in the interface then click on the add charging plan icon. Enter a plan name, selecting calling permissions and the charging policy, which can be prepaid or postpaid. It's best to uncheck the unlimited option and set a limit in terms of money or used minutes. If you're going to use the prepaid option, then it's good to know that credit verification doesn't occur in real time. It actually happens at a 15 second interval. When you're done with charging policy, select the fees strategy, which can be fixed or relative to call costs. For the latter, you need to multiply your cost with a factor, for example 1.5, or add an overage, let's say 0.5. 0.0005 US dollars per second. For now, let's choose a charging strategy with fixed costs. Let's say 0.0005 US dollars for every second. This means that the calls are charged at the rate of 3 cents per minute. Calls to local extensions are free, so with zero cost. Now let's go back to setting charging segments. In our case, 60 over 1 is a good choice which refers to billing per second after the first minute. Charging segments work differently based on the fee strategy you select, which is why we configure the fee strategy first. When selecting a relative to call cost strategy, the segments apply only to what you have entered in the second field, the ones after the plus sign. So for example, if we have a set of relative to call cost fee strategy and we enter 1.5 times the call cost, plus zero US dollars per second, then the charging segment will only apply to the zero in the second field. This is important to know when determining your fee strategy and charging segments. Next we'll add charging exceptions. These are needed when you don't want to charge all calls to all destinations at the same rate. You can add call costs in the destination exception area. Here are a few examples. We choose to charge Germany landline area code 49 at the rate of 0.04 per 60 seconds. Then 0.004 every 6 seconds. Then we will add Germany mobile code 4915 at a rate of 0.08 for the first 60 seconds and then 0.008 every six seconds. And then another one, Germany Mobile 4916 at 0 .08 per 60 seconds, then 0 .008 every six seconds, and so on. As a tip, it's better to load an already prepared file with all destination exceptions into the system. Moreover, you can create packages with free minutes included. Since charging exceptions apply to the exact number dialed by the extension, it's also a good idea to add all the number formats that may be dialed by your users. As a final note, you can set several charging plans 
that can apply to multiple service provider accounts you have created in VoIP now. Now that you know how to create a charging plan, it's time to start creating user accounts. To learn how to do this, please watch our next video. Thank you.